Here, I am going to discuss about the remaining environmental science current affairs topics for your upcoming 2021 prelims examination. Okay. In an earlier video, in the part 1 video, I have discussed most of the environmental science current affairs topics. Okay. So, here I am going to discuss about the uh, some of the remaining topics. So, before going for the exam, just go through this topic. So, the link for the part 1 video of the important current affairs topics, it is provided in the description. Okay. So, the first topic is animals. You know that every year UPSC is asking questions related to animals. Its features, uh, the area which is protected, right? the area which it is located, the protected area where it is found, like that question will be there. right? So, these are the some of the remaining animals which were in use. Uh, Malayan giant squirrel, Indian star tortoise. We know that Indian star tortoise everywhere they will be in use because uh, the smuggling of this Indian star tortoise is happening. right? So, then giant leatherback turtle, black necked crane, fishing cat, caracal. So, caracal uh, it is right now important because we know that we are having uh, an integrated development of wildlife habitat scheme. Under that scheme, we know that we are having critically endangered species recovery program. right? So, earlier there were 21 species included in the recovery program for critically endangered species. And now, this caracal is also included. So, in, after the addition of this caracal to that list, Right now, we have 22 species in the recovery program for uh, critical endangered species. So, you need to know about these 22 species. Okay, so caracal is the recent one. Then we have Irrawaddy dolphin, Himalayan zero. So, Himalayan zero was spotted in Spidi Valley region as well as in the Assam region. That's why it was news. Then red-eared slider turtle, the Northern River terrapin. It is also called as Northern River terrapin is also called as Batagur Baska. Then Himalayan griffon vulture. So, we know that Indian vultures is facing threat due to some kind of drugs. Right. So, around 9 species of vultures are there. So, this was in use. Himalayan griffon vulture. Then, Pygmy hog was in use. We know that Pygmy hog is famous for the Manas National Park. In and around the Manas National Park only we can see the Pygmy hog right now. Okay. On the locations of, in and around locations of the Manas National Park in Assam, we can see Pygmy hog. Then, Black Buck, Pearl Spot, where it is found. Indian Gaur or Indian Gaur is also called as Bison. Okay. So, these were the remaining animals which were in use. Right. So, other important animals which are in use, I have discussed in the part 1 video. Okay. Then the plants. So, we know that regarding the natural vegetation also UPC is asking question. Okay. Uh, in the earlier video, we discussed about the Madhuka Diprostimon. Right. It was found in Kerala, in Western Ghat region, in Kerala, in Kollam district. Then uh, Senna Spectabilis, a kind of uh, invasive species. Now, here we have Bhima Bamboo. Okay. Then Lantana camera, Lantana camera is a kind of weed, it is a kind of invasive species, Lantana camera, it is a weed. Okay. So, these are other plants which were in use. Bhima bamboo, Lantana camera, Senna spectabilis, uh, Madhuka diprostimon, Volami pines, these are the some plant species which were in use. Okay. Now, the next topic is pollution. We know that pollution is an important area. Okay. So, whatever the pollutants which were in use, it, it is important for UPC and also the technologies or the measurements adapted for the for curbing the air pollution is also important, right? So first topic is uh, flue gas desulfurization. So flue gas desulfurization is a kind of technology used to remove the sulfur from the exhaust gases. Okay. So flue gas desulfurization is a process used to remove the sulfur from the exhaust of the or chimneys of the power plants or uh, from the industries. Then Pradhan Mandri Ujjala Yojana, that means regarding the LPG connections, okay, free LPG connections. So that was in use. National air, uh, Ambient Air Quality Standards, National Clean Air Program, then SILAM and Enfuser. Okay, SILAM means System for Integrated Modeling of Atmospheric Composition and Enfuser means Environmental Information uh, Fusion Service. Okay, then Prana Portal, a web portal, then Benzene Emission, Fly Ash, Fly Ash Scheme is there, Policy is there, then uh, Vehicle Scrapage Policy. Then Namami Gange program, used cooking oil or repurposed used cooking oil, Duko initiative. Okay. So, these were some other initiatives which were in use related to the pollution part. Right. Now, here are some Indian organization, uh, National Board for Wildlife. Okay. We know that National Board for Wildlife, they add the uh, animals to the critical endangered species program. So, Caracal was added to the recovery program by the or it was recommended by National Board for Wildlife. Okay. So, National Board for Wildlife, Forest Survey of India, National Green Tribunal, Botanical Survey of India, Zoological Survey of India. These were the other organization, Indian organization which were in use. Now, some international initiatives. There are lots of international agreements are there, international organizations are there, other initiatives are there, right. So, first of all, Convention on Biological Diversity. Under the UN, we have 
an agreement for the consideration of biodiversity in international convention on biological diversity then unfcc was also there in news several times ramsar convention okay so four more ramsar sites were added recently right so right now we have around 46 ramsar sites okay so you need to study about the ramsar sites the name its location and what is the ramsar convention right then mission blue so mission blue is an international initiative who are identifying the hop spots okay hop spots then natural capital accounting and evaluation of the ecosystem services in caves okay so india in caves forum was there so that's why it was in so it's an international initiative okay there are five countries under this initiative in caves okay you need to know about these five countries right so india is one of the country in the in, in caves then lots of protected areas were in use national parks wildlife sanctuaries tiger reserve all these were in use ramsar sites right so biosphere reserve so the panna biosphere reserve was included in the world network of the biosphere reserve right so that was the recent one around 12 biosphere reserves are there in india which are included in the world network okay so india is having 18 biosphere reserve out of that 12 is included in the world network right so reason being panna biosphere reserve so you need to study about the concepts regarding what is biosphere reserve then you need to study about the 12 biosphere reserve which is included in the world network and also the 18 biosphere reserves in india then the conservation reserve in association with the conservation reserve we have community reserve also so you need to have an idea a clear idea regarding what is the difference between conservation reserve and community reserve then ramsar sites okay so 46 ramsar sites are there you need to know about the location the name and if any river is flowing through that that also you have to study then tiger reserves so recently uh, a new tiger reserve was declared in Tamil Nadu, Meghamalai, right. So tiger reserves, you need to know about what is a tiger reserve, the concept which law is associated with that, that means under the wildlife protection in 1972 by the 2006 amendment we have this tiger reserve, okay. So we have given the legal status for the tiger reserve. Then hotspots, okay, hotspot is regarding the aquatic ecosystems, marine ecosystems, right. Then here are some miscellaneous topics which were in news. Ecosynthesis zone or ecologically fragile areas, then eco ducts or eco bridges. Okay, so lots of eco bridges have been made in northeast. Right, then community forest resource rights, which is under the FRA Forest Right Act. So you need to study about what is Forest Right Act and the main key rights given to the forest dwellers under the Act. That is, that means one of the right is community forest resource right. Okay, so under the FRA, uh, the community resource forest resource right is there then individual forest right is the right so in time about this community forest resource right and regarding the forest right act also you have to study under that we have we are giving the habitat right for the people forest dwellers okay then vulture action plan for the conservation of vultures then uh, the ambergris ambergris means it is the whale vomit okay the sperm whales they will vomit the kind of things that is called as ambergris okay whale vomit ambergris then earth overshoot day animal corridor Okay, uh, Operation Olivia, Chipko movement was in use recently also. Okay, then we have gross NVM product. We know that we have green GDP. As a part of green GDP, we have this gross NVM product. Okay, the National Dolphin Research Center. So these are some other miscellaneous topics which were in use. Right. So these are the remaining topics. Now the major topics I have discussed in the part one video. So all the best for your upcoming prelims examination. Okay, thank you.